Hey, what's up, Biz 100? This is your friendly neighborhood professor, Mr. Roberts. I hope you guys are having a great week. My weekend was, eh, had some good barbecue this weekend. It's always a good thing. I love barbecue food. Uh, bad thing, my Eagles have lost again. We're 0 and 2. And this is just not a good way to start the week, especially after the, the monumental week we've had in the past week. Um, so let's move on. We're moving on to chapter four. If you've snuck ahead already and know that chapter four is ethics and social responsibility, this is my favorite chapter. This is one of my favorite topics when it comes to business. And I yell a little bit louder every year. This needs to be paid more attention to in business today. Social responsibility, ethics, these are two major cornerstones that don't get talked about enough. It doesn't get talked about enough on news programs. Ugh, that's, my ears are too small. It doesn't get talked enough about in college classes. It doesn't get talked enough in business circles. It doesn't get talked about and it's so important. So I wanna share my screen right away because we're going to have, uh, you know, I talk about the Eagles all the time. So of course I watch ESPN for highlights when they're not playing on national TV. Today I got to see how awful they were throughout the whole game on national TV. Uh, it's just awful, Ugh, don't get me started. But let me share my screen. I wanna talk a little bit about uh, what we're dealing with as far as ethics and, and social responsibility. Here we go. Sharing the screen, sharing the screen. I think at some point I'm sharing a screen. Oh. All right. Business ethics, social responsibility. We're going to play, uh, just like they do on ESPN, a game of by the numbers. Okay? So this is your by the numbers segment for chapter four. The number 14. The number 14, I'm gonna give you a second. Maybe think about it in your head. You can write it down if you want. What do you think the number 14 means in relation to our chapter four? If I had Jeopardy theme music, I'd play it. I am not gonna sing it though. If you don't want, I wouldn't subject you to that. That would be bad. The number 14 signifies the number of pages dedicated to the two most important segments of business. That's right. In my opinion, business ethics and social responsibility should have way more than 14 pages dedicated to it. Double whammy, 13 and 20. Take a moment. What does 13 mean? What does 20 mean? What do they signify? Okay, time's up. Stop writing. Put your pens down. I see you. Put your pen down. 13 and 20. There have been 13 huge scandals over the last 20 years. Let me just name some of them. Here we go. You ready? Pick a year, any year, there's a scandal with regard to politics in the U.S. government. Just pick a year, any year. There's always a scandal. Usually it's an ethical lapse of judgment, okay? On both sides of the aisle. I'm not picking on anyone. Democrats are just as bad as Republicans as far as that goes, okay? And vice versa. Here we go. The Catholic Church. We've had anything from them applying for and receiving the PPP money, the bailout money for the pandemic, and using it to back parishes that were affected by the sex abuse scandal, or just to talk about the sex abuse scandal, but that's pretty big too. Um, Wells Fargo, they had a program in which they would fire employees if employees couldn't sign up each individual customer to nine different accounts. Nine is fine, was the internal motto. And so employees didn't want to get fired, so they forged signatures on people's accounts. Uh, on people's behalf, customers' behalf, and open up all sorts of different things. That's highly illegal. That affects your credit score. That's terrible. And that's a scandal. Look it up. Fox News, sex abuse scandal with Bill O'Reilly, Theranos, Elizabeth Holmes, 
faking news and numbers. Uh, Nike, you just saw, right? It's last week. Uh, Philip Morris, you've got Chevron, think the Amazonian version of Chernobyl. Philip Morris, Monsanto, Walmart, Apple, Halliburton Oil, Toyota. There's a variety of different, uh, different uh, ethical lapses out there and scandals that have taken place. You just, if you start paying attention to it, it's like, you know, when you pay attention to a specific car you want to buy and suddenly they're everywhere on the road. Now that you're aware, you're going to see it left and right. You watch. We've got eight. Eight. Eight is the number of pages dedicated to social responsibility in this chapter. That's it. That's it. Just eight. Even worse, we've had 13 huge scandals in 20 years, but we only have six pages dedicated to ethics. You would think ethics is so natural. It's so common sense, right? Just do the right thing and everything will be okay. Except we have so many examples of that not happening, right? All right. Let's talk a little bit about learning outcomes. Alexa, stop timer. Does everyone hear my Alexa going on in the back? Alexa, stop timer. Sorry. All right. Here we go. Define ethics and explain the concept of universal ethical standards. Describe business ethics and ethical dilemmas. Discuss how ethics relates to both the individual and the organization. Define social responsibility and examine the intake on, or the impact on stakeholders. Explain the role of social responsibility in the global arena and describe how companies evaluate their efforts to be social, socially responsible. Okay, so let's take a look. Ethics is a set of beliefs about right and wrong. There are norms that apply to people across a broad spectrum of situations. And business ethics is the application of right and wrong, good and bad, in a business setting. Okay, so here's where we're first going to pause our part one of your lecture this week because what I want you to do right now is take a look at a documentary. The name of the documentary, the name of the documentary is, um, oh geez, of course I didn't write it down before I started my recording. Uh, the name of the documentary is The Great Hack. It's available on Netflix. If you don't have Netflix, please message me. I will find an alternate link for you to use so that you can see the documentary. Um, text me, please. 619-252-6518. Text me, please, so that um, I can get you another link. And then I'll, I'll message you or email you the link or, or you know, text it to you. Um, but it's available on Netflix, The Great Hack, Take a look at it now, and then we're gonna go over some slides around ethics, and we're gonna start, uh, we'll, we'll be applying some of the things that we saw in the documentary, okay? If you don't have access to Netflix, um, you may also watch the, uh, the documentary, um, The Smartest Guys in the Room. This is a documentary about Enron, okay? So you have your choice, either The Great Hack, or Enron, uh, smartest guys in the room, okay? Link will be in the announcement, okay? And then we'll take it from there. All right, enjoy watching the films, guys.